Welcome to Electron Online. Our new topic in mechanical engineering is moments of inertia. Now there's a lot of different subtopics under this chapter and there's a lot of different naming conventions sometimes for the same thing and so that makes it kind of confusing to know what we're actually talking about or when you read the textbook what they're actually talking about. So we're going to first of all give you a general overview of all the various subtopics. There's 18 subtopics in this chapter that I would like to lecture on and so let's first do a quick review of them. Later on we'll go into much more detail on each one of them and show you some examples as well. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what we call the first moment of area which means it's relative to an axis in this case the example here is to the x-axis and we integrate the distance of a small area element from the x-axis times that area element and we integrate over that here's an example of that here we have a small area we have a small area element dA and a distance from the x-axis so when we integrate the product of that distance times the area element over the area then we get what we call the first moment of area notice it's also sometimes called the first moment of inertia and that kind of makes it confusing because when we think of moment of inertia we think about this item right here so don't confuse the two the second item we're going to talk about is called the second moment of area it's very similar to the first item here except instead of taking the product of the distance times the area element we take the product of the distance squared times the area element and therefore typically we make that into a double integral notice the units here will be meters cubed the units here will be meters to the fourth power we can sometimes also take the integral with respect to the origin and so we take the radial distance r squared which is x squared plus y squared sometimes we also have the area right smack so that the center of the area is at the origin which is applied to something called the torsional constant which, which we'll we talk about a little bit more as well then the moment of inertia is something most of, most of us are probably familiar with from physics where we take the product of the distance from an axis in this case the example from the y-axis the distance squared times the small mass element so we have a small dm of probably a volume item here and we multiply the times the distance squared to the axis of rotation that we're interested in and that gives us the moment of inertia notice the moment of inertia i is the rotational equivalent of the mass in linear motion when we have f equals ma for linear motion the rotational equivalent will be torque equals i times alpha where i is the moment of inertia the fourth subtopic is called the radius of duration of an area which means we take an area and we squish it down into a single strip we call that strip area A and A is the thin strip with the same area moment of inertia as the original area and then K represents the radius of gyration which is then the distance from the axis of rotation to that small strip area element the fifth sub item we're going to talk about is called the parallel axis theorem which is a very useful theorem that allows us to find the moment of inertia of an object at a different location for example we find the moment of inertia at the center mass and then we move it to a different location a distance d away and that allows us then to calculate the new moment of inertia we can also do the same thing with an area moment of inertia or what we should say with the first moment of area or the second moment of area we can calculate that by taking the moment of inertia from the centroidal axis and moving it a distance d of course in that case we take d squared times the area instead of d squared times the mass so you can see there's a lot of different subtopics to this to this general topic of moments of inertia and on the next video or the next several videos we'll show the other subtopics that we're going to discuss in this particular chapter